Oh, hello and good evening, guys. Bit of a weird start for a video, I know, but today is a special day. It is currently 10 p.m. on a Sunday, the 21st of March. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen it on that day because a few minutes ago I published a post saying that I will do a 30 day social media detox. And that detox starts in two hours. So one hour before my bedtime routine, right now I just decided to, I just decided to delete all of my apps. So already locked out everywhere on my computer, the favorites of Safari is all gone, iPad as well. Now I'm doing my phone first. Instagram, delete, Twitter, delete, and also, yeah, I'm also deleting YouTube. As you are watching this, you already know I still published YouTube videos in the time of my social media detox, and the reason why I deleted, I just deleted the YouTube app is to follow. So uh, now I'm locked out everywhere all the apps are deleted and um, it, it's a bit weird because I am nervous, <laughs> I am really nervous, but still I feel quite good about it. So, ha, huh. okay, let's start the video. Yes. It is true, from the 22nd of March to the 20th of April, I took a so-called social media detox. What that meant, how it went, and what changed is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Let's hop right into it. Before we can actually hop right into it, we need to explain how social media actually works. And for that example, we're using Instagram. So I guess we are not just hopping right into it then. You open the app, go to Reels or Discover, you see a cat and you like the post. From now on, you will see more posts of cats because the algorithm thinks that's what you like, that's what you want to see. And if you see more of it, you stay on the platform for longer. The longer you stay, the more ads you see. The more ads you see, the more money Instagram makes. Doesn't bother you. Of course it doesn't. Why should it? You see what you like and enjoy your time, don't you? This is a very short colored explanation, I know. But it is enough to give you an idea. The question, however, is, do you really enjoy it? Jokingly meant drama effects aside. If you see a funny video of a cat, you like it. You laugh about it and maybe share it with someone. And then you forget about it. The enjoyment or the boost in dopamine to be a bit more medical accurate isn't long lasting. That's why you need more and more and more and more and more. I would definitely say it is like an addiction. Ask around and ask yourself, would you or others stop just using Instagram for 30 days? You, and probably them, come up with the same excuses that a smoker comes up with when it comes to quitting smoking. For example, Of course I could stop. I just don't want to. Negative side effects would be a lack of concentration. For example, when watching a movie or a TV show or basically anything else that takes you more time looking at a post or watching a reel or a TikTok or a Snapchat or whatever there is. And you really need to ask yourself, is this what you want? Short moments of enjoyment while you're looking at someone, enjoying their life is and experiences and cats of course while you sit at home and don't do all of that I don't I didn't want it to just sit home and do nothing but consume or at least get distracted by it while doing something different but that's exactly what I did last year I spent so much time on my phone scrolling through social media it's bizarre and that's why I started to switch my life around with that social media detox to get less distracted and instead of consuming other people's life, enjoying my own life a little more. And also, very importantly, every night when I go to bed, knowing that I've actually done something productive and more important and more long lasting with my rare time every day. Making YouTube videos takes hours, sometimes days. And I could spend that time on Instagram scrolling through reels. Would be much easier. But no reel, no post, no one else's life can give me the same kind of fulfillment that I have when I'm done with the video. 
Those are the reasons why I wanted to try out this experiment in order to cure my addiction, to cure my consume and also to prevent distraction in the future. So the plan for that 30 day social media detox was easily born. But how would that actually look like? First, I wouldn't use any kind of social media in whatever way. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, well, never use that, Yodel, all of that deleted and not touched in all that time. Second, stop consuming YouTube also. I still uploaded and responded to comments, but I wasn't watching any videos anymore for all of that time. Deleting the apps and logging out of all the accounts on all my devices was a weird but exciting feeling. I was really looking forward to the upcoming 30 days. Because I used Instagram so often in many different situations in the last years, the process of unlocking the phone, swiping to the icon, opening and scrolling through it became intuitive, like an instinct. And this stayed with me, not just for the first, but also for all the other weeks. Unlocked, swiped, and then there wasn't anything, nothing to find, nothing to occupy my mind. I slowly shifted to check the weather app and my activity app more often. For one, that helped me to focus more on my fitness, VO2 max, pace, distances, all of that. The weather didn't really do anything. I always check to see how the weather is going to be the next day when I go for a walk in the morning. Since the end of January, I never missed a single day of walking, no matter what weather we had. Yeah, checking the weather. I get old. Did I miss social media? Honestly, not a second. Of course, I thought about it. I mean, I journaled about the process of that experiment every night. And even though it was a bit weird, I was actually very happy that I've taken this step. I think the biggest reasons why most other people wouldn't try out an experiment like this is because of the fear of missing out. What happens if something very important happens in someone's life that I really care about? Well, if you really like them and they really like you, you should probably get texted about it, shouldn't you? Well, at least that's how I saw it. So yeah, it isn't that big of a deal as you might think. I miss YouTube, however, at least as an informational platform. As you might know, I'm very into tech. MKBHD is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I like to watch reviews, I like to watch unboxings, and I also want to be up to date with tech that comes out. And I also was a bit scared and afraid about the amount of videos that I would actually need to catch up on. Catch up. In all honesty, I'm more the mustard and mayo kind of guy, but that's completely off topic. I was afraid about that, but other than that, it felt really good. Of course I was curious, I'm not gonna deny that, but it was never that much that I would actually break 30 days, just pulled it through. I'm awfully sorry, but there actually isn't anything interesting or traumatic to report. But, but it gets very interesting after the 30 days. Using Instagram for the first time again. I was excited. What did I miss? What has changed? Less followers, likes, comments, messengers, all of that. Well, there wasn't much interesting to find actually. All still the same. It felt like the world was just spinning all normal all of these days. Even my mum was still there looking and liking at everything that I post. So yeah, it was all still the same. Nothing actually changed. After checking out the few messages and comments I've got, my curiosity vanished immediately. I swiped through a few reels, like I used to do, uploaded a few things to my story and then like nothing. Closed the app. I worried a bit about that after the detox I would transition into very excessive usage, but I didn't. Consuming Instagram felt boring. 
So I didn't. Of course, I posted once in a while, looked into it maybe two to three times a day, but I never spent a longer period of time consuming on that platform. Twitter was never really something big for me. I didn't even check it the first few days. And the other one I talked about, uh, Yodel, didn't even install it. Wasn't interested. To make it short, everything that I hoped that would change after that experiment did actually change. I use it less, I'm less interested in it, I'm getting less distracted by it and I don't waste my time that much on it anymore. But can I recommend it? Definitely. I would definitely recommend it to you trying it out. You would be surprised on how much time you actually save. Time you can use for much better and much more important things. That's it. This was my 30 day social media detox video. I am very happy that I've taken this step and I'm also very happy that I successfully completed my first ever experiment here on YouTube and my life. Kinda. I've got some more ideas for other experiments in the future. So if you are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned by subscribing to that channel or my Instagram account. And also, if you've got some more questions that I need to answer, let me know down below in the comment section. You know what? Even that is still where it was, still underneath the like button. So only left to say is Instagram. I mean, bye. It's not that I don't care Need to shut down to keep you out of my mind It's strange to be here alone, yeah A place that we used to go all the time I need to